stonks. I decided to try something no one else has before. I made a bot to automatically trade stonks for me using AI and machine learning. I wouldn't believe you if you told me it's unsecure. So we have a C file. We can connect to this thing on Netcap. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download the C file. I got that here in Notepad++. So we'll walk through it. All right, so we have a structure, stonks. It's got number of shares, symbol, next little link list, portfolios. We can view a portfolio. We can pick a symbol with AI, which appears to generate A plus a random letter. Buy stonks. Oh, this is interesting. All right, so we see the flag here. So we're opening the flag file into API buff. API buff is a variable sitting on the stack. Okay, uh, now we're going to use patented AI algorithms to buy stonks. While we have money, we pick a random share. Stonks are chosen. What is your API token? Buying stonks with token. Oh, here we go. So this is a format string vulnerability. So you'll see the printf there, but there's no, like, there's no nothing in quotation marks. And so that means we can actually specify a format string. And in particular, what we could do with a format string is we can use like percent %x's to walk up the stack and just print out whatever is on the stack as we go up, which is going to be exciting because we know that the flag is living on the stack. All right, so there's a strategy for us. So we'll minimize that. We'll say netcat mercury picoctf.net33411. Okay, so I wanted to buy stonks. And then I'm just going to walk up the stack for a long time. Let's just copy paste that. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Let's hope that's enough. All right, buying stocks with this token. So we get this long hexadecimal thing. What I hope is that somewhere in this is the flag. So we'll copy that. I have this hex to text converter from a previous challenge. All right, so there is my flag. There is my flag. Uh, the flag is in this weird order, though, because the integers are little endian, so P, I, C, O, C, T, F, squiggle. So I just need these characters to print out in a different order. All right, so let's see. We can get Python to maybe help us with this. We have that string that we got. Right, for x in range. 0 to the length of s, counting by 4. And then we'll print s of x plus 3. So we're just going to print the bytes in backwards order, x of 2. s of x plus 1, s of x. And then I'm going to say no ends at all prints on the same line. All right, I crashed a little bit there at the end, but I think I have my flag. Pico CTF, I lost all my money. Copy, paste. It looks like I'm missing that closing squiggle. And there we go.